Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the SPS 2023 exhibition. We are happy to welcome you to the show, but even more so to our booth, Delta Electronics. Please make sure you come and visit us to find out our latest technologies in product, also in solutions. We'd like to start by presenting you with the IIoT solution, and the presenter will be Juan. He's our specialist. Thank you, Monique. I'm so excited to be able to show you today how Delta is enlarging its IoT solution. Uh, in this panel, you can see in the red side, which is our current solution, which is based on DX routers, and also what we are going to release next year. First, our DOP HMI new series, which will be able to integrate direct cloud inside the HMI. This means in those systems where you install or HMI, no longer will we be required to put a DX router. Uh, in this case, not only data could be uploaded to Direct Cloud, but also we'll be able to remote control all the devices you connected to our HMI. Second, we're going to release DIA Web Designer. This is a software which is uh, allowing you to create your own dashboard, taking all the data we gave it on Direct Cloud both DX router coming from DX router or coming from HMI, make calculations and then show the results on the proper way. So end customer can easily take decisions at the right moment and the right decision, of course. And third, we are going to release a new extension car for the AES series PLCs. This card is called AES FFTP01. And it's kind of door opener for your PLC for the IoT. Why we call that? Because first, it supports uh, MQTT, which means the standard communication protocol for the IoT. We will support at the beginning Amazon, Azure, and Mosquito brokers, but later we will add another ones. We will support also FTPS security, OPC UA with security too. OPC UA is mainly important because it's the easiest ways to put together OT and IT layers in the in the factory. We support mail. And last but not least, we also support with this card Node-RED. And what's that Node-RED? Node-RED is a, let's say it's a platform, it's a uh, software that allows you to create very easy, uh, in a very easy way, so kind of drag, drag and drop uh, dashboards, local dashboard, web-based dashboard. And get, then you can see all the data in your uh, system and in your mobile phone or your in tablet uh, as you prefer. So. It's very, very convenient also to show and share information. We really think that with this uh, enlargement of uh, IoT solutions of Delta, we are now ready to be your partner, your IoT partner, and just we are waiting for you. So, thank you. Now we are moving to Johan, and he will show you something regarding our wireless uh, charger uh, solution. Bye. Thank you, Juan. Here we are presenting our wireless charging system. This is a charging system for industrial batteries. It's working with the extreme high efficiency degrees and makes it comparable to all conventional charging systems. I'm presenting here our multi-seller. We've sold several thousand units of the one kilowatt system. It's consisting of a primary side with a wall box with a primary pad and the vehicle side, which can be integrated into AGVs with a coil and an onboard electronics. It's working, as I said, with high efficiency of 93%. We can charge all type of batteries and with a gap of 20 millimeters, as soon as we bring the pads together, we are transferring the energy into your battery. All the parts that are outside, like the pads, are water and dust proof by IP65 
And the good nice thing, we don't need any maintenance repair as we don't have any open contacts or cables. These can be integrated into AGV, AMR, mobile robot, bolts, any type of uh, mobile application. If you need a bigger one, like a forklift truck, we are now presenting our 30 kilowatt, the big charging system, which is working exactly the same way. We have a primary side, which you see there. It's a primary cabinet with all the power electronics, the primary pad, which is mounted to a wall, to a stand, to somewhere where the vehicle can go to. In the vehicle directly, it's only the secondary pad, which includes all the onboard electronics. So this is the only that will be on your vehicle or on your robot, on your machine, any application. Here we have the same features. High efficiency, 95%. We have here also a CAN open control that can be hooked via Ethernet in your warehouse control system. We here realize a gap up to 150 millimeters. Same water and dust proof application for outdoor use with an IP67 class here. And the nice thing, no maintenance, no plugs, no cables, no open contacts, so that a really autonomous operation can be guaranteed with the system. So I hope you like the systems, use it in your applications. Thank you very much and I hand over to Martin with the VP3000. Thank you, Jochem, for your introduction. Uh, I'm going to tell you something about our process automation cabinet. In this cabinet, we are using several types of uh, components to show you how you can be used in a real process. In top, you see the power supply, the PLC, temperature controller, and the switch. If you have a, a process with a lot of uh, I.O. for temperature, we can go up to 64, and if you want, you can also get higher. In the bottom we have also a, a power meter because we also want to know the consumption of the power of our application in that case. It is also registering the harmonic distortion and you can see the power factor directly on your device. In front we have an HMI. On the HMI we are only showing now at this moment the components what we are using in the cabinet. But in real application you can use it for uh, showing the complete process on the HMI and also make the settings for your process. But the largest part is of course our frequency drive, the VP3000. It is a new design with a new topology. It is a slim design, that means it is small. It, uh, we are using the depth of the cabinet in that case. What we have changed in the standard topology is that we have changed the electrolytic capacitors into film capacitors that makes it more re reliable for long term, but also it makes it smaller. That's a big advantage in the large power drive. If we show here a 630 kilowatt power, so that's a large one. The control you see here in the middle, we can use Profinet, Profibus, uh, Ethernet, uh, Ethercat, all kind of communication protocols are available for this application. The standard drive is delivered as an IP00, uh, but we can also uh, deliver uh, boxes, what you see on top and at the bottom, to make the drive IP20. So that is more beneficial in our environment in that case. Now I'm going to introduce you Simone. Simone is going to tell you something about our articulate robot application with servo drives. Thank you, Martin. Um, in parallel to traditional dedicated robot controllers, Delta offers an innovative approach to robotic applications based on Codesys and Ethercat with a high level of flexibility and integration. The demo here is a clear example of our proposal as it represents in a smaller size an assembly machine. The core of the solution is the AX8, a powerful industrial PC able to control up to 64 axes. And thanks to the integrated kinematic transformations, it is also able to control the movement of our robotic arm with, by using standard Ethercat servo drives, like our ASDA B3E. The range of Delta robotic arms includes both SCARA robots from 0.4 to 1 meter and articulated robots as well from 0.7 uh, 
to 1.4 meters with a payload from 3 kilos up to 22 kilos. In addition to robot control, the AX8 uh, can also manage the other devices in the production line, such as remote IO modules, uh, servo drives uh, and inverters, and supports a wide range of communication protocols. EtherCAT, as already mentioned, but also Profinet, Ethernet IP, Modbus and OPC UA. And do you know what else this solution can offer? Time. In fact, uh, together with the controller, the servo drives, and the robotic arms, uh, Delta provides uh, two customizable software templates. These software templates uh, allow the customers to shorten the development time by keeping the same level of flexibility, thanks to the fact that they are developed and they can be edited by using our standard uh, free of charge DS Studio platform. So, in short, uh, this uh, seamless integration of hardware and software makes Delta Robotic Solutions suitable for the world of pick and place applications in market segments like packaging, material handling uh, and assembling. Thank you very much, Simone, for that interesting explanation about the robot demo at the SPS Nuremberg 2023. Now, we're standing here at the AX5 series. That's a new series. That's correct. Can you tell us a little bit about the features of the new product? Yes, sure. Uh, the AX5 series is our new generation of codesis-based motion controllers and ultra-slim type remote IO modules. The AX5 CPUs set a new level in a control automation technology for Delta uh, due to the fact that they support up to 64 axes uh, and have high performance and provide fast response. Uh, they also support uh, many different field bus systems like EtherCAT, Profinet, Ethernet IP, Modbus and CanOpen. And particular attention has been paid to IoT connectivity through the support of OPC UA and NQTT protocol. Oh, that's interesting. And which applications would you find these in typically? Well, the AX5 series is so flexible that you can use it uh, for many different applications in many different market segments, such as uh, packaging, uh, uh, assembling, uh, material handling, or even robotics. In fact, uh, particularly for the I.O., the main characteristic is uh, the width. With only 12 millimeters, customers can save up to 50% of space in the electrical cabinet. So a very general purpose product, but with a huge space savings advantage. That's correct. Wow, thank you very much, Simone. You're welcome, Monique. Well, that concludes our SPS Nuremberg 2023 live stream event. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have making it. And we hope that you will come back to us again in the new year. Please do ask us the questions that you possibly have. There is somebody there to answer them for you. Look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you very much.